Welcome to Surgery Squad's Virtual Limited Open Carpal Tunnel Release Surgery. I'm Dr. Jeff, and I will be guiding you through the procedure today. Carpal Tunnel Syndrome is characterized by a tingling numbness or pain in your hand, and sometimes forearm. It develops due to the swelling of a ligament in the wrist, known as the transverse carpal ligament. The swelling of the transverse carpal ligament creates pressure on the median nerve in your wrist. This nerve is responsible for supplying feeling and movement to various parts of the hand. Performing repetitive motions with the hand or wrist over a long period is the main cause of carpal tunnel syndrome, and the condition is more commonly seen in women than men. Researchers have also discovered that other medical problems such as alcoholism, arthritis, diabetes, obesity, and infections could also lead to carpal tunnel syndrome. Today we'll be operating on a patient who has been diagnosed with carpal tunnel syndrome after experiencing numbness and weakness in the palm of his hand and thumb. Now let's put on our gloves and get started. The limited open carpal tunnel release surgery is performed using a local anesthetic that numbs the carpal tunnel area of the hand and wrist. If a patient is nervous or uncomfortable, I'll sometimes use a sedative as well. A sedative is a drug given through an IV that places the patient in a dreamlike state. However, our patient today will only receive the local anesthetic. Go ahead and get the operating area numb. With the wrist anesthetized, we can now begin the operation. I've already tied a tourniquet around the patient's upper arm. Can you go ahead and outline where we'll be making our incision? Looks good to me. We'll be making a three-quarter inch incision at the intersection of those lines. Now take the scalpel and make the incision. Nice. I couldn't have done it better myself. Now we'll spread the incision wider to expose the transverse carpal ligament. This band of tissue is the cause of the problems. Place the retractors into the incision and spread it open. I think you're a natural at this. With the transverse carpal ligament exposed, I'll need you to slip a carpal tunnel guide into the incision. This is a blunt-tipped instrument with a groove on the upper surface to accommodate a special knife. The carpal tunnel guide is placed down the carpal tunnel and underneath the ligament and is used to protect the underlying nerve and tendons. Go ahead and push the carpal tunnel guide into place. Once it's in position, you'll advance our special knife down the guide to split the carpal ligament. As you push the knife forward, you will feel it cutting through the carpal ligament. Perfect! With the transverse carpal ligament cut, the median nerve is no longer inflamed. Now we can begin to clean and close the incision. Go ahead and irrigate the wound. When you're finished, I'll release the tourniquet, allowing blood to flow back into the hand. Great! Now you'll close the wound using non-absorbable sutures. With the wound closed, we'll inject additional numbing medicine around the operating site to help relieve some of the immediate pain the patient may feel after surgery. And lastly, we'll place a small dressing over the wound to absorb any residual blood. We'll immobilize the wrist with a splint and a sling, and after one to three hours, our patient is sent home to recover. Our patient needs to keep in mind that because of some of the medications we used, he may experience a bit of nausea. He will also be given pain medication to help relieve the discomfort he'll feel in his wrist. Once our patient returns home, he'll be asked to follow specific instructions for driving, exercise, and medication. This will include keeping his hand elevated above his heart for the first few days after surgery. About two weeks after surgery, we'll remove our patient's stitches, and he'll be gradually allowed to return to his normal routines in four to six weeks. 
And that's a limited open carpal tunnel release surgery. Thanks for stopping by. Why not try out some of the other amazing surgeries here on SurgerySquad.com?